right, we're in top four, the first match. It is, um, was it's Lavel's, Lavel Artifact deck on the right, I believe, uh, on the left. And what's the other guy playing? Uh, hat. Hat, and it's Hat on the right. No, is it Hat? I thought you said Magic Cards. Oh, no, no, I thought you said magic. Oh, no, it's artifacts. It's artifact, yeah, uh, said, not artifact, it's gear gear. Oh, right, right. Gear gear on the right, uh, lava artifacts on the left. Okay. That, that kind of. Is he playing, like, gat or just gear Uh, the gear gear? Um, it's, it's Giovanni, I think. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, um, he's playing trap tricks, one template. That's different. Yeah, no, nothing like, I guess like the only thing special is like Tim, uh, template. He's main decking in the ceiling. Three wiretaps. I'm not sure if that's good. That's not really good against James. All I think he runs is artifacts traps. Oh wait, that's. Yep. Is that, that's the yep, that pops two backers right now, pretty much. Is that, what is it called? Okay, it's, it's uh, conductor field. field or uh, I think it's Mullen conductor field. We'll just, it's Mullen Conductor Field, right? Yeah, Conduction Field. And yeah, you just send two, then Maiden's Effect just keep sending. It's a really good start for him. Crazy. Yeah, turn one off, one card, five cards in the graveyard. Yeah. Which one is the one that pops? Uh, Maiden. Oh, he didn't even, he might have Soul Charge in hand, because like, he sent the uh, one that special summons a one from Remove from Play Pile. Yep, pop the back row. He probably does have Soul Charge. Man. That must be a great thing whenever you play like a deck like this. Yeah. Like, I assume Giovanni... I can barely hear you. Oh. It's, uh, it's up. <laughs> oh, that would yeah. do it. I assume Giovanni, like, is like, well, this Lobble deck probably sucks. Or yeah, like, like well, I think I'm that's what most well. of his opponents thought. Like, he just filled up his grave and popped the backer at the same time. Uh, his hand's probably not that good. Yeah. Uh, Upstart. Uh, yeah. They gain 1,000. James, yeah. Yeah, James. Uh, player one is which one? This one? Uh, that one? Okay, that's James Chow. C-H-O-W? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. C-H-O-W. He's playing Lava Artifacts. Then, yeah, you can just read this right off. Giovanni Del Moro. He has a lot of traps. Yeah. He doesn't have armor, though, so I guess there's... What did he just that? search? Did he search Bombless, or...? No, yeah, yeah, he searched Bombless, I believe, okay. first. This gets back the, uh... He might just search Trap Tricks Nightmare. I don't know, he gets back the uh, Maiden, which is good, and I can pop in our back row now. So, like, even if he bombless is this. I wonder what he's going to do. Warning, maybe? Oh, that's one of the new sets, so it, it's got to be bombless. Yeah. Yeah. You might have thought like of breakthrough skilling or something. Did he play breakthrough? Uh, I think he plays two, two breakthroughs. And one no chain. fiendish chaps though. Uh, three fiendish chains. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you might have just thought of doing one or the other. Look at this. He probably has like, what was? I think he plays double cyclone too. Yeah, he plays one double cyclone. Oh, the three ignition, the three sanctum. Oh, oh my God! Is yes. Is this oh? That it could be all no artifact monsters. All, oh. I'm almost positive it's gonna be all artifact monsters. What? Oh. Yeah, he's playing uh, level artifacts. Oh, he's probably chaining too. Oh my gosh, no. He could also just have ignition. To like set another. Yeah. He just gets a full board. Oh man. All right, so it's just not, but. So yeah, he's just gonna get yeah. somewhat. He pops. Well, he still pops it, and the game it, it's so gotta be uh, one of those point. have to be an artifact at least. There's no way it's just not both artifacts. Yep. Yep. 
he can make Stardust and play these next turn, or like even Scrap Dragon play these. He has Tim play in hand. Oh my and god. Doesn't he have the, that the, the popper? Broken. Yeah, the popper goes grave. He makes probably Stardust. Yeah, and attacks for like 6k. Yeah, the pops the back row. Oh man, that malevolent just. He had to have drawn it too. It oh yeah, yeah. Or he, not, he, he didn't have to draw. He might have drawn Sanctum and just waited. That's game, I think. Yep. Special summon. Synchro. Yeah, or just attack. <laughs> yeah, that was the past game. James' deck's really, really good. Oh, he might not want to set Malcat because then he only set two back row first turn. That's true, yeah. Yeah. God, that's great. Like, oh, God, Giovanni is. Uh, he was just so confused what happened. Oh, man. The best thing about this, the Lobble deck, though, is, like, all of those cards are just sitting at people in people's, like, bulk boxes. Yeah. What would uh, James side? James would probably side Dark Hole. Another Malcat. He That's could do it. Needle Ceiling. Like, ne is, Needle Ceiling is not that bad against, Especially against like, the Tin Plate and stuff. Yeah. If he, like, I think tim he played Tin Plate so he can go off. Yeah. So, yeah, but... I don't know. And I guess that's a good thing about him winning game one, too, is he can side that in. and then It might actually just be the Dark Hole Malcat because, like, his deck is, like, pretty just a s it's solid. I don't even know what he would take out. God, that deck list error yeah, the is going to win him the tournament. Yeah. It's, it won him two games so far, yeah. like, that we've heard of, the Malcat. Um... I really don't know what he would take out. He might take out like a duality. Can I probably like wouldn't take out duality. Trim the like numbers. Uh, I think he's gonna take out Curry Band and a Blaster. Uh, he probably not even take out Blaster. Just two Curry Bandit. What game is this? Two. This game two. James Chow. Malevolent. Three hit. artifacts. Sanctum and two artifacts. Uh, what would um, uh, what would Giovanni be siding in? Definitely three Maxis. Uh, I don't think Flying Sea is that good because Synchroing. Uh, two deep Dark Trap holes, perhaps. Just get rid of, like, if he Synchros with them. Um, oh, Deep Fissure, Macrocosmos for sure. Soul Drain for sure stops the, yeah, the lakes, uh, Lady of Lake. Needle Sealing for sure. So he's got Needle Sealing, uh, Soul Drain, Macro, Deep Fissure, uh, two deep Darks if he wants. Why did he just give it you? Trevor, you can get like a pack of cool? sleeves. For those players, like 50 bucks. No, like they're actually just worth something. They're like. What? Okay, no, no. Okay, you have to think about like this. If a flight to a certain ARG is like 300. Uh, no, 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 three hundred dollars. Like you're paying actual cash to like pr book it. Like say a Las Vegas one's like 300, and like. It's pretty much valued at like 75 cents if you get 400 of them. Like, I think flight or the hotel is just like the best way to see it. Yeah, so just keep, save them for like next year's buys. Just think, you can get a, a ton of packs of sleeves. <laughs> packs, man. Packs. You know you want packs? Notepads. Pens. <laughs> no, just packs. Packs, packs, packs. For 15? Uh, okay. I thought you said 58, and I was like, what? T uh, TJ's explaining what happened. <laughs> TJ Kinsley. Yeah, that was... I don't know why they did that, but at the 20K, they just like told me right down the cards like that were missing out of my deck. Because I only wrote 70, uh, 37, because I forgot to wrote... Uh, three card card Ds, and they were like, where, where are the three cards you're missing? I'm like, this, uh, like, I show him this card, he's like, just write down, and you have game loss. They should just make you add upstarts. <laughs> they actually just, that that might actually just be a thing, and like, if they don't have upstarts, you have to like, run like, Jar Greeds or something. Yeah. They should actually just make you play Jar Greed instead. Like, oh, upstart, Trevor, can you, you can just use first turn. Switch back. Oh, uh, yeah, Trevor, switch back. So, so like that time, ago, yeah, he has molten. Yeah, he molten first turn, and he just pops the Gigi armor. So he just fueled his grave and just 
I think he just said in our league. thought it was a ma bad matchup. It's not a bad matchup no, at all. I think it's really good. He said it could just be bad if they, like, they oh, get okay, set yeah, up. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Because, like, if he got set up first turn, that could have been really bad. Uh, I think it's correct to set Neil Ceiling before he has four monsters. Because, like, what if he just soul charges back? You can just yeah. do it on the soul charge instead of waiting for him synchro into perhaps Stardust or something. What? Oh, uh, no. I don't know. Yeah, like, he's like, he's like, uh, Geo set Neil Ceiling before opponent had four back row on the board, true pro. He is I don't think set. that was the wrong play at all. God, that's something you don't see ever. Oh, was this A game one? set. Oh, that might have been game one. Oh. But he definitely should have played ba around Malcat just because, like, he saw it mean. Like, even yeah. if it's a one of, he should have just. There's no reason for him to set four back row. So Giovanni has soul charge. James might also have soul charge. No, I didn't get rid of it. Unless you'll get like 10, and obviously I'll do that. Oh man. He just kept popping the. Uh, he also probably just has artifact monsters too, like yeah. an ignition. It could even have malevolent. He could just be waiting. Big oh, he tribute summoned. Yeah, he, to get the the maiden's effect. Maiden, Does yeah. main get the effect? Yeah, I guess sent to grave in general. And he banished it. <coughs> yeah. Oh man. Do you, I don't think he would keep D prison in against. Oh uh, no, you might. Is he thinking on the attack or is the attack gone through? Uh, attack. Attack gone through, I think. Okay, so uh, did, uh, did he attack though? I believe so. Let's oh, just wait. Uh, somebody will say something. I think. Yeah, somebody in the chat will say. Something. Oh no, he's he's like doing life points also. Oh, okay. oh, but James didn't subtract anything, so. Uh, yeah, I don't think he attacked because James didn't subtract anything. He might just be resetting it. Oh, apparently he did attack, so, yeah. T okay, so he took uh, whatever that is. You might not. Yeah, like, oh, no, it's probably because the first one that he did was probably, like, 8,000.66 or something. Uh, Giovanni to soul charge for three. Yeah. Actually, I, I really don't think he attacked. But why flip it, then? Why flip what? The bagel tech. Uh, I don't, yeah, you have a point. Yeah, he tribute yeah. set set, set it. Flip. Yeah, he he had to attack. Uh, well, this is yeah. Here, just pass this down, Ben. Uh, well, like last time, it like knocked over cords and stuff, man. Oh, no, we're already doing it. We already committed. <laughs> well, plus, these are cold, so it makes me <laughs> feels good. Good on my ears. So, do we know any of the sets? No. Uh, no. I'm pretty sure James has, like, a f he has to have, like, one artifact monster, maybe. Ignition. Maybe a Malcat. Hmm. Yeah. Because th there's no reason for him to sank them any time earlier. He just added armor. Uh, yeah. I think he's trying to play as conservative as possible, get just gain advantage. Yeah. He might just okay. He needs to draw the level for it. Yep. That's broken. I think you actually have to fiendish chain this card or break through skill because they get back Lakeside Lady and that just pops another card. I don't think G uh, Giovanni's playing this game right. Like, uh, his opponent's deck like. It should be playing the controlled side of this matchup yeah. to, to where he can stop, uh, stock up on cards and eventually get the soul charge and stuff. So, like, he should be trying to kill him, like, j trying to play the beatdown. Oh, uh, like Giovanni, yeah. But I think after the soul charge, he made the correct play. Because he, he, he probably has Neil ceiling face down at this point, and he's just thinking on it. 
Like, if he had Nielsen, you probably would have just made, like, double Gigan. Mm -hmm. Did he set all of those turn one? Uh, uh, he sold, like, he, everything he got back from Soul Charge, it was, like, Arsenal, Armor, Armor, all got destroyed. Because, uh, like, he just kept Wake Side leading it. So he just Soul Charged and set it up like this. Wait, so all the back rows, when were they set? Oh, uh, first turn. First turn, yeah. First turn. Then James set, like, four back rows as well. I feel as though James probably is a Malcat. James also plays wiretap, so like he might just be waiting to make the wiretap live, like something devastating. So yeah, here's gonna be a Stardust then I assume? Or is it gonna be scrap? It's probably gonna be a Stardust. There's no reason for it not to be he doesn't have Nielsen because he would have done it by now. He he would not wait for him to synchro. True. Alright, so that that's one thing that we know um so did uh did giovanni set the armor and then next turn flip it and add arsenal or how did uh, okay no he had armor armor and arsenal and grave because he yeah, went for uh, uh, I'm right about now like no he uh, never resolved the armor, armor ever they got popped by the popper lady okay. yeah okay he just soul charged back yeah i got that so what turn did he summon the arsenal on uh turn I one think it was turn his one. very first turn and what did he get Armor, set armor, pass. So how's the Giriano in there? Oh, he soul charged? Uh, he soul charged, Arsenal, Tribute, Giriano, okay. special back. Oh, so he paid... Oh, he only paid 2,000, I guess. Right, oh, so he paid 3,000. He got armor, armor, Arsenal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that lets us know that, like, he wasn't planning to make, uh, what... Like, his plan wasn't to make Gear Gag and sit on, like, needle ceiling and stuff. Yeah. Is that Spark? Yeah. Yeah. Is there emptiness? James, well, you wouldn't um, put I, it in in this match. I don't think he would put it in, but like, there's possibility. Yeah, he has three call. emptiness. He I might have actually put it in. I doubt he did. He's gonna. What? He, he probably no, because like, if he makes like a start, uh, like a spark, because like his deck can easily make spark or play these, like that kind of just shuts down the gear deck. I mean, yeah, but he knows like, it, it, he should know that like that deck probably has a bad matchup against like mermails and dragon rulers yeah. which those decks aren't the most playable also sylvan so like emptiness is probably just against those decks so, okay, so is that the one call the haunted yeah the yeah. one call the haunted and it got MST. which is mst okay i don't like i'm so confused like james has played that that's cannon right or blaster or something that's cannon, cannon. he's played it like three times and he just picked it up for the first time and realized it's bad or shouldn't let it resolve Oh, no, his opponent, he should never let that card resolve. Oh, yeah, exactly. He's let ever. it resolve a bunch of times. Oh, man. Does he have another wiretap? That was good. In the deck. Oh, oh. So does Giovanni know, uh, no, no his does James know that Giovanni doesn't play Deep Prison? I mean, Deep Prison? Uh, he does play Deep Prison. He, he mains two Deep Prison, I believe, but, like, he probably sided it out. Yeah. Because okay. it's not really that good against I'm this match. Like, right. it's okay. Giovanni I mean, also plays one Blackhorn. Wait, why wouldn't it be good against this matchup? Like once they try to kill you, they don't clear your field. They just go in. So that no, they can. They have the like. They they maiden have maiden just to pop back row. So oh, it's true, just true. it's it's a, like not a reactive card. So you so. want chainable cards? I see. Yeah. So what's Can's attack? Can's it's attack. Eighteen-ish. Like Sixteen or nineteen? I have no idea. Dude, Why? Yeah. Do, what did he attack? No, he just. Didn't oh, okay. he just attack? Ooh. Breakthrough skill. What? He attacked Spark into a Girgiano for 100. Yeah. For a Did he X. put Girgiano in attack mode? No, he put it in defense. Okay. How much attack does that have? Was Girgiano in attack mode? Gigant was in attack, yeah. How much attack does Lovell can have? 16, okay. Fairman, can, can I see your iPad? Yeah. I want to check both of their lists. Uh, his list right there, and James is the first list on the whole. Oh, so he played Goldfish. Uh, what? Yeah. Did he attack direct with the cannon? No, no, no. no. He attacked the, like, Girgiano. No, we're whatever. fine. Yeah. Yeah, just 200. Uh, what would he make here? Uh, Ending it? Excite on now. No, uh, like, I would it excite would on here, be yeah. Good, but like, Spark just stays. Unless, like, he has Phoenix Chain face down, but. Um, I feel like if he has Phoenix Chain or Breakthrough skill, he's just using it incorrectly, because he should. Yeah, like bringing back Lakeside, uh, not like, yeah, it's Lakeside Lady, right? I think is Lady the one that adds more to the graveyard. Uh, Maiden, that's, that's the Maiden. one that adds grave. So then Lady's the popper, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, Lakeside Lady. Uh, I don't think he should ever let him bring it back. Yeah. Because so far, this game, it's popped two times, I think. And it's a tuner, right? Yeah. Yeah, Ark was probably the best play. So. Does Giovanni side Crow? Giovanni. Uh, I think a one of Crow. He is a lot of one ofs. No, one Flying C. He sides three Max C's, though. I don't think Flying C is very good anymore. Oh, well, Malcat. Hope well, he gets there. There's a Malcat. Nope. He was saving the oh, wiretap. Didn't he wire, like... Uh, he, James wiretapped the compulse. Oh, okay. But he obviously had... Uh, yeah, he had to wiretap the compulse. He obviously like, had uh, Tim play Goldfish in hand. Yeah. So he's going to one-on-one and you know, wiretap well, would stop any of the traps. That I think stop it. Giovanni probably should have wiretapped at that time. Because he would have had... He would have still Gigant. Yeah. Uh, and an uh, armor face down. But instead... He... Wh which one did... He uh, saved wiretap. So instead, like... No, wait. Which one did he kill? He he killed Gigan. Okay, so if he killed Gigan, he gets um, the Giorgiano, and he killed Giorgiano. But if he compulsed and just wiretapped the compulse, um, yeah, he would have Gigan and armor because he would just pop one of the armors. This isn't really looking good for James. Uh, I think oh, if I, uh, 500. It wasn't any. Nah, I, he took 500. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I don't think so. It it um uh, it made uh like since James wasted a bunch of his traps, like he still has two more and like he he can get over the field. Like with uh, by making monsters, if he has a wiretap to stop a trap. Is this the new one, the Beagle Talk? I'm pretty sure the I middle one the was there. One, I'm pretty sure the new one was Ignition. I uh, know, but like before when he Malcat, he had one oh, back yeah, row. Yeah. So he might just have two Moral Talks and just. No, just one. No, two. Oh, yeah. Wow. I wouldn't put him in attack mode though. Uh, well, I don't he think he has another this, arc. So. Why, wait, why wouldn't you? Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, because like this is only 14, Here. and you're popping arc twice. Uh, he knows his uh, he knows his deck. Like he knows uh, Giovanni's deck list. Does he play two arc? Uh, I doubt it. Not many people play arc, double arc. Nope, one arc. One arc. Okay. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't you put it in attack? Uh, yeah. Then, like that's why I, I thought there's not arc left. That's what I was saying. But nah, yeah. yeah. Also, you'd put attack because like if he does negate one of the things, he would have uh, one of the Maltox, He would have suicide arc with one of them instead of just beating over one. Yeah, I think that's completely fine for a uh, needle oh, needle si Th That'd be completely what? fine for James. Hasn't he had that the whole game? Um, I am so confused. I as have to what no idea. Doing. Yeah, he has. Like maybe he just had like the wiretap read. Ah oh, man, what? he played this game very well. He just waited until waited until he could simplify the game state. Yeah. And now he's simplified the game state, and he's uh, probably gonna win. A soul charge could like devastate this play. Oh, uh, he drew our trap. I feel as though he could have Soul charge? done that much, nope. much earlier. I think that was a sanctum though. he just drew. I mean, sure, like, you know, um, James could top like that as an out, but, like, he just waited the entire game and simplified the game, so it was yeah. really good in my opinion. But well, he could have... a point where, it, like, James had yeah, three monsters? He could have, like, not simplified the game state, but he could have had it where he would have a lot more card advantage. Like, James would have had two back row, and Giovanni would have two back row, an armor and another armor, 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 and Gigan. But uh, not Gigan, Gigan would die. Uh, Giorgiano. At that point, he still knows that um, James plays wiretap. So, uh, like, if he beats it, like if he goes through the wiretap like, yeah. by using other defensive cards and saves his like really good defensive card, then he can eventually get through and simplify the game state. Because yeah. James would have wiretapped there. I still think this game can go either way. Because. If, like, James, I'm not sure what Giovanni's back rows are, but if it's nothing that can stop, like, a cannon from black rows inward. Oh. See, like, that was a really good draw. Yeah, so now he has, like... Compulse. Uh, I don't know why you'd compulse. I would at least have gone for the damage. Uh, oh, he has soul And he can just reset it. Why would he compulse? Yeah, doesn't he have another monster in? Yeah, I don't think compulse was the right play. Oh, why did it matter? He has an accelerator, right? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did he get to destroy Giovanni's back row? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he does? Yeah. Because, uh... Um, Malakas says only on declaration. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I, I know D Prison says target one, you know, uh, attack position. Yeah, but it's getting returned your to your hand, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, what was the point of not? Like, he's not going to set the, um, 
thing anyways. Like, well, he's not going to set accelerator. Didn't he flip armor? Or do you normal that turn already? Uh, he flipped armor this turn. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, you know what I would have done if I was in Giovanni's position? I just, like, I would have left it. Like, I wouldn't have compulsed. And I just would have set the accelerator that he added. So, like... Plus, Ooh. couldn't you have also just flipped armor back down, though? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So there's you know, no set reason. It in the set armor. There's room for you, Lolly. Come sit next to me. No, come back through here. Yeah, we'll move it. You're small. <laughs> TJ, can you even... Yeah, you know what? That means I should get your headphones. No. Yeah, look at that. He just said vermin. Uh, you're, we're going to push the chairs together so you have more room. So it's like okay. a couch. Yeah, there. Yeah, that's okay. what I'm talking about. You good, dog? We got the deck list here. Oh, do we actually have deck yeah. list? That's amazing. <laughs> you're amazing. So, who's playing? Oh. James, shout this game two. Uh, James won game one with a uh, Malcat, a devastating Malcat. Giovanni's made some questionable plays, but like, I think he played the entire game like, like you know, I, I think his intentions were good with, you know, simplifying the game state. Is that the best? And I'm working out I'm not him. saying it on Twitter <laughs> this time. You best believe it, dog. Best believe it. Oh, there it is. Can somebody use the, uh, the lolly emoji con? <laughs> yeah, Trevor can. Trevor tidbits. Uh, who's Appreciate in top you. four? It's these two. Then it's Mike Albanese and an Infinity player. There is no KMP deck list. It's gone. Wait. Uh, what? What? what is that? Hard I like that. Say again? What was the damage from the last turn? <gasps> oh, I don't know. I, it might have just been 23. Man, this is really good. If he hits the right one. Oh. And he did, right? Uh, nah. Like, he could have just made Pleiades here, but, like, this face down. Yeah, I, I think he might make Tiras. <laughs> Tiras? No, no, he won't. Uh, Pleiades. Ah, uh, this is really good here. Right this plays around bottomless until he can uh, make Pleiades, and then if he bottomlesses, then he I think chains the effect. Isn't bottomless gone? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty no sure. Idea. Oh, no, that was game one, I think, Wait, where he just. It's not. Is that. Okay, no, it's not uh, right there. It's wiretap. <laughs> Yeah, I think he only plays, what does he play? He only plays, uh, he does play with three wiretaps. That's the hack guy who only plays one wiretap. Look at this. Volca Charger for a game. Even though he used Soul Charge. Damn, damn. Does make, Volcasaurus make Gigant mistiming? Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's then, sure. But. Yeah, that might have just been... The better play, just Volcasaurus. I don't think so. This is a defensive card now. Like Pleiades is a defensive card. That's what you really want. Right, but like Giovanni could have top decked. Oh yeah, I guess. All right, was good, dog. It's your boy, Base Lolly, behind the booth. He's got a breakthrough skill now. Hey, what up, TJ Kinzeltown? All right, so I got the deck list in front of me. What game is this? What's the game? This is game two. Game two, and oh, he's uh, definitely going for game. James got the first one. Once again, players are Okay, yeah. Now I think this was definitely the best play. If he um, if he made Pleiades, like, he doesn't know what his back row could be because yeah. he didn't try to do anything earlier. And uh, he, he can't attack for game or anything. But, like, uh, he's I, I, Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, he, he's a really low, fine, yeah. so, like, you know, Pleiades is just a defensive card. So that way he can just keep beating him down. Hi, Twitch TV chat. Make me president. So... Yeah, wow. Uh, I just I just started watching. What are your guys' collective thoughts on this lava deck, <laughs> lava artifact? I think it's amazing. I don't know, but yeah. I lost to it. Has he has he resolved that trap card yet? Uh, no, he has not drawn it yet. Has he has he drawn it in a feature match and resolved it? Uh, I do not know. Okay, well, if he hasn't yet, then I don't want to talk about it yet. <laughs> I I want it to be a surprise. You can just look at deck lists. 
Yeah. Oh, oh man, these are awesome. You getting this in the back row? Oh man, the trap oh, guard. He, oh, he oh, has just, to get it. Just as I. Oh, I, I don't think. It. I don't think he. I think he has like one lava monster in there. Because um, I think he kept banishing. Oh, I think he has his uh, cannon. Oh okay. Oh. Uh, it's actually just that trap card. He's Ooh, just getting it. He's getting it. It doesn't even target cards. I don't think because it's a cost to banish, and they have for spawn that it pops. Wait, what card is it? <laughs> I like that. That's good. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Battery Man Lolly? Uh, I think that deck is broken, but it was Stratos. I mean, we can we can we can discuss it. Are uh, you guys <laughs> trying to play Battery Man OTK at the next event? Yo, <laughs> I'm that's good. that. I'm a degenerate. Let's do it, baby. <laughs> I don't we know. We do what it. We do it. Oh, uh, he's my. He might have thought just like breakthroughing his skill right away. Uh, did he draw Accelerator? Oh, whoa, whoa. Has Giovanni oh, played man. Breakthrough? He has the breakthrough set. I saw him set it. Oh, uh, okay, then. Yeah. yeah, but has he played it throughout the game? Uh, no. Are you sure? What? Has he played it? What do you mean, like, activate it? He doesn't have it engraved. He has it face down. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh, he, set it, he set the turn after he made Pleiades. It was James who activated breakthrough, right? Um, so he it's changed a break the breakthrough. Armor, this game. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And then he drops the Excelli. Uh, he's only at 21, I think it looks like. Is Ark so gone? Ark's gone. Oh, Ark is gone? Okay. Yeah. Then I guess it's not. So he can't. Um, what can he do? All right, I actually have no idea. Loom, uh, oh my god. What does he do? The Lava Trap card is Dust Flame Blast. It hey, can I see his deck list? What is yeah, 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 here you go. Or what's in his extra deck? It, uh, basically, you can remove. Is it any number? All Lava's in your grave. He can make. Uh, it removes all Lava's. It has to remove okay. all. And, and it destroys cards equal, uh, equal to the amount. It has to be equal, or yeah. is it equal or up to? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's equal. You have to destroy like, all of them. Okay. Well, Giovanni's high in life, so he can make. Uh, oh, he ran May Stroke. Don't worry, the burden one. Oh God, Is that real? <laughs> no, nah, it's not. Thanks to Yu-Gi-Oh memes. Oh, uh, he could have made Cowboy. Utopia. Yeah. Did he play Utopia? I think May Stroke in this situation was just better, uh, especially because he searched that trap. Can Cowboy attack over it fully? I mean, yeah, but. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, but like that doesn't play around the the wait, trap. Well, he has break. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't play around oh, the trap. Oh, what is yeah. the trap? The the dust flame blast that he searched, what like does that the even guy, do? Uh, banish all lavas in your graveyard and destroy cards equal to the amount you banish. So I'm pretty sure he has one, or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, oh it says up to. Okay, I'm wrong. So uh, see, he activates dust flame blast in the end phase, and oh he has two, so he might pop the back row. Yeah. Oh man. But he wiretaps it. So I knew there was a wiretap set. Man. He might have sync. Like he could just yep. Man, Ooh. he drew the sanctum. He, he has it. one moral talk left. He's like something I was surprised baby. about is uh, Giovanni, uh, side in cycle reader, which I guess isn't that bad because like when he soul charged, it actually did something. Well, I mean, he's playing, he can he's playing beagle talks too, right? He's playing yeah. the full artifacts. Right? Oh yeah, so he's playing three ignition and yeah. double beagle talk, I believe. Yeah, it's definitely good. Yeah. Yeah. So. And he has breakthrough skill, kill it next turn. Uh, it doesn't matter, he pops anyway, so. Oh my god, Ch James. One commentator is me. Who is the other one? We have, we have back in the booth, we have uh, DGZ Baylife, a.k.a. Sec Seth McManson. Um, we have. Uh, what are you talking about? Aaron <laughs> Base Chase Furman. And we have. Uh, a.k.a. MM lookalike. Ben Zach, Lil Boy Leverett. Little boy lover. Yeah. Uh, I have to get my brother's name too. Yeah, because you know. I can't at least, Ben. Well, at least I, if I unless, like instead of getting it like completely wrong, at least I get it half right. Uh, I see, I see. You know Wait, I mean? can he use break? This, he can't use break this on his opponent's turn, right? I know he just attacked. No, it's it's his it's his it's his turn. Wait, how do, how come I don't get a cool nickname? Wait. Oh, yeah. yeah, he attacked, and then he activated Breakthrough Skill. I'm, I'm thinking of one. These light points I don't look one. right for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, probably because we haven't been updating them. Sounds about right. Uh -huh. No, but I thought, like, he was lower than, like, I thought he was, like, uh, he's definitely lower. I mean, this is, a, like, Trevor Trevor got up, like, a few turns ago. So. Sorry, uh, guys. Life points is just. All I know is Giovanni's very low. Dark hole. Oh, man. All right. So he has a dark hole. Someone yeah, I don't well. think. Oh man, uh, what can uh, James draw? That's why what he plays cowboy. What does James have set? Wait, what does he have set? Do we know what he has it set? It could be torrential. And yeah. that is why he shouldn't make cowboy. It can't be called a haunted. Oh yeah, see if he made he cowboy. Have any but still, searches. like if he if he. Okay, I mean I guess no no because. 
I think James only draw can be rekindling, and I don't think it does anything. Oh, lava cannon. Step on. Uh, oh, what? Lava cannon? That's Trevor, he he banished two, so it would be his last one. Did you just ask Life? Yes. I right, thank you. What? Oh, yeah, he benched two. Oh, he had Malcat. Awesome. So now all he has to deal with is what a bottomless. What was and what? It was macro. and Macro Cosmos, which is really good. He actually but needs to draw a Lava Cannon. Yeah. Uh, oh, he got Bottomless, right? Yeah, he has yeah. Bottomless. So he's actually just in the toughest spot ever. But he drew. Yeah. Oh, man, that would have been super cool if he had the life for it because he just drew the Molten Conduction. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing left to send. I don't think there's two left in his deck to send. All right, nobody hate me, but I don't think I'll side Macro against that deck. Um... I if you go first, I think you should. I don't know. I don't like siding. Oh, macro then there's artif Yeah, like against the artifacts. I think you like, should side it out right now. Like, like I don't. I don't he, like siding macro. Missed three ignition, a double cyclone. Yes, I think you should side it out right now. Three well, sanctum. I wouldn't. I wouldn't not side cards just because they have like a million like MSTs or whatever. Like, but. I mean, you still have to open up with it. Like, well, the problem, the, that, and then like another big problem is that they can just go like flip sanctum, some immoral talk, which is a very, very standard play. It's not like you know, or like you could just go like chain ignition on your own back row after you flip the macro cosmos. Okay, summon the moral talk that's in the grave because it still goes to grave, mm -hmm. and then pop the thing. Like, I mean, yeah, he has nine outs to it. Uh, yeah, there's just so many ways to play around macro cosmos. And Even the D fissure, like D fissure, same thing. You just have to open it. Like, if he opens it, yeah. he'll probably lock it. He might be unsliding it right now. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't think the, so. It's, it's, it, I think it's in the front of his deck. Yeah. <laughs> he but probably. Yeah, I wouldn't side it in against him. Oh, man. I said nobody hate me, but, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like nobody heard him. Who won in the other top four match? I think uh, they're playing They haven't played yet, yeah. yeah. They're going to play. They it's, play separately. It's Mike Albin Cheese. Shout out to Yu-Gi-Oh memes and uh, <laughs> I retract that shout out immediately. Um, and then who's he playing against? Pat. Oh, Pat. I don't know who it is. Pat says Seth, Seth, GGZ Baylife man. Berman, can you turn my uh, my volume up a little bit? Is it Alex? I'm it's a boy. Yes, that's is me. It? Yeah. Whatever. There, Why can you not hear yourself? Or? Of it say, no, I like just just the one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, everybody heard that right. <laughs> I do like to hear myself. I would side Soul Release. Um, does does Wait, oh Soul Release is no, probably not the best. This guy's saying I would side Soul Release. Uh, uh, are you saying Giovanni? Uh, is Giovanni? I think it's. Uh, I think the other guy's Frank McNara. Yeah, yeah, he's playing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So what is what is? Giovanni. Can we look at Giovanni's yeah, side deck? Um, Actually, I'd like to see both. Giovanni. Decks. So what do we he, have here? He does not have. He does not have Soul, soul Release. release so, yeah. Okay. He sides a tin goldfish. Why do you think that is? Can we just speculate that? I for don't a know. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, moving on. He moving could right find on. a fifteenth card. <laughs> <laughs> moving right along. I mean, I only see. He also oh. means one. Wait, is that I card mean, bad? Yeah. Is the reason that card uh, he's signing that card because like? Just uh, to make Gigant first turn, I guess. He well, doesn't want to wait. I was thinking that it's better against like decks like Sylvans and Dragons and Mermails because like you need a big monster turn one. Oh yeah. Because like the the quicker startup you get to kill them, like you're playing the beat down, they need to play the control. And I I, ge I guess, but why not just why not just play the two? Like I I don't know. I feel like that's just inefficient use of the side. But well, it's, I, it's not uh, good against hat. Like I mean, you could feel that way, but like, I don't feel like the side deck needs to be just reserved for cards that are. You know, okay. Defensive. I think he drew the trap card. Well, just card for matchups is what I think. But uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, yeah, that like that makes sense. He did like, side and vanities. It, it does. James side and vanities. Yeah. Bad against hat. He oh. might have sided in this game, so he could have Ooh. gone first turn like Stardust or something. I definitely disagree with. Uh, yeah, I don't agree with that. In. Uh, Sanctum or Ignition, I think. Unless he has way of sending more stuff with Soul Charge. Uh. Giovanni's about, to, make him. Tell him Giovanni's about <laughs> to be able to read like, two his backers Who is that? Ankit. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> whatever. Uh, I love Ankit. He's, he's just the best. Whatever James adds, Giovanni's going to be able to make like a lot of reads. Yeah. Because if he grabs Ignition, you can read that he has a, uh, an artifact. Like, I don't even think Sanctum. No, he, he could add Sanctum with an yep. artifact. Okay, yeah, he has an artifact. So he then. definitely uh, has he, an artifact. No, he probably so. has two. Uh, wait. Or he might just want a card to like true, true. get rid of like macro D fissure if he kept it in. Yeah. Well, yeah, but he's set four here. And that's like like that would that would imply that he has to like play a back row and then activate the uh the um ignition <laughs> like, well, when he's re oh yeah, okay. oh that's why. That that would that would also explain it. 
Uh, is he popping one of his own? Okay, nope. <laughs> New York. Nope. I hope something cocked. <laughs> oh, okay, so uh, actually no. now, now he knows that he does not have an artifact. Now he does, though. So now the ignition is live. And warning was a good hit. Oh, that's good. Uh, if he runs, if he draws molten conduction field, you know how broken that is? Man, that'd he be pops, really good here. Uh, two back row. Ooh. Ugh. That'd be juice. That'd be as juice as my well, if he just deck. Like Wait, so this is still during end phase? Did he already Yeah, this is still end phase. Uh, did, he, did he draw that trap card? Do you know for certain? Uh, I'm almost positive I saw it. I don't think he should do it right away because if he draws Molten Conduction Field. Wait, draw. I really just want to see what he drew. Wait, you the get it. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Sorry, man. You're just man. shaking. I just, it's just what I do. I'm excited. I'm excited <laughs> to see some good Yu Gi Oh! Some Lobbles. Some Lobbles versus Gears. The balls. I want to feel you shaking. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. The world already He's felt it. He's shaking his leg. <laughs> I'm just shaking because you're shaking. Oh, man. Bujin Quasar, uh, yep. That's the one. That's <laughs> that's the deck I was going to play. Yeah, now they know. Bring ARG to the West Coast. Uh, mm. You got to bring it up with base yeah. lolly. Yeah. <laughs> I got to talk to the ambassador about He's it. He's so anti-West Coast. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> Wait. He, he wants to keep traveling th this didn't, way. Didn't they already bring it over to Vegas? It's like right yeah, next to Yeah, but like... All the the amount they can, have on the East Coast. You can't please them. You just, they're just so unpleasable. Much. Unpleasable. <laughs> they're literally scary. unable to please. Uh, didn't I think Jim said something about Florida? That'd like be cool. more when it gets like colder outside. <laughs> Air yeah. Chief South Africa. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> That's good. I think he said something about Atlanta. Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> go Atlanta. Yeah, who would ever want to go to Atlanta? Not me. Furman. His name is. All right, I'm not saying that on <laughs> Stop trying to trick me. <laughs> He's just reading it without looking. Yeah, I mean, I didn't finish reading it. Anyway. All right, so it looks like uh, Giovanni finally, I mean. He has to have, like, a fiend to share something for this. Yeah, I mean, he's aware. Okay, he's so did Giovanni just end this turn? So his face down pro it might Giugiano. not be an armor. Yeah, it, Giugiano, you just think? I don't think you would set Gear Geek Yeah, like what other Ooh, card would be? And he activates the uh, cycle reader that we were just talking about. Yeah. Um, and that he was manages to stop. I mean, yeah. If I had to make any read here, I would definitely just. Chain Call the Haunted. <gasps> oh, wait, wait. Uh, what's in um, Giovanni's side deck? Is there anything that he would set? Set a Energy monster? Yeah, that's content. what I was looking for. The only monster he is is 3 Maxi's template in his side. And. It would actually just be Giorgiano. Yeah, it's definitely just Giorgiano. Unless he just want to set an accelerator to see if he pop, like will pop it. No, like he, first turn. Po okay, like he's gonna need his accelerator. No, no, no like but say if he has gear. armor accelerator, and he wants to, like just uh, ban like if he has Lakeside Lady, just to pop the accelerator. See, so it, you can just set armor turn after. If he did that, then he should set. I mean, yeah. Then yeah, he would. He should definitely set armor the turn I mean, he, after. he would have. Okay, he so didn't, he just passed. It, so that I mean, could be an armor. Yeah, it seems like that's that's actually just the case. He. Yeah, it seems like that's an armor, but uh, that's definitely Giorgiano. Well, I don't know about Giorgiano, but the first set definitely isn't <laughs> armor. Double, double cyclone. No, is uh, broken. I'm almost positive Giorgiano. Uh, I, I'm calling it right now. Uh, Taking yeah, all bets. It, it has, no, it has to be Giorgiano. All bets. There's yeah. no way he said anything else except Giorgiano. All yeah. bets. I mean, I mean, that's like a one of though. That's a one of. Yeah, why, but why does that matter? So I guess I, I reads I don't understand. go over percentage. He drew uh, solemn morning too. That's that's a one of. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This dude drew a lot of one ofs. Double cyclone. Uh, so he's gonna attack into the. All right, if it's Giorgiano. There's no. Yeah. I'm Giorgiano. pissed. Oh, I yeah, am. I'm so good. <laughs> What do you mean? What else could have been? I, get, I don't I know. Mean, I, I just made, it the, been a, it I just made been, the conscious effort. Could have been the sided reach. tin goldfish. And yeah, here it is. Right See? I told you all. The, uh... Oh my god. Uh, James Saw has this trap card. Too bad nobody bet me. Oh, he just needs molten conduction. Oh field. no, the trap card. Or even, set. like, Ooh. or even synchroing into, like, something six with the lava, with the maiden. <laughs> oh man, there's just so many. One conduction field, please. Oh, he drew an Armaiden. That's still good. Isn't that a tuner? Yeah, level three uh, tuner. He can make a... Neil Ceiling. Uh, wait. But I thought that was Doesn't level he, one. He has a... 
He has a lakeside lady in his grave, so like that's two already. Okay, right, yeah. That is two. Now it's <laughs> so three. he can pop two cards. Right? Which, so or, which is the two cards yeah. he has. I don't know what last card in his hand was, though. Oh, man. Wait. Oh. Wait, what happened? You must got free ones with me. Okay. Never mind. Ah, uh, yep, yep. And here it is. And there it is. Ooh. So he banishes both. It's not as good as I want it to be, but. I think that's busted. Yeah, it's good enough. It's like a. I mean, I've heard, I've heard him like do wonders with that card. Yeah. I think. Oh, he's popping one of his own. So I guess uh, he can target cards on your side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I heard from the big old, the big old, the good old TZ. Tease them on. I don't YPFL. think. I don't think James is playing this matchup right, because he should let his opponent be the beatdown, while he should be playing the control and waiting to get cards. But instead, he just he tried to pop his own card. Ooh. No, I mean, I feel like. I don't know. I like. I like the artifact variant being the aggressor in this matchup. Oh, another breakthrough skill. I mean, no. I talk. I talked about this with Mike when we when uh, when he made the the. Curry Bandit artifact deck, and he just said, you know, we just start summoning artifacts and killing over their stuff, and then at one point, you know... Yeah, well, th that's exactly what... They have to play into your cards. Yeah, th that's what artifacts and gear gears do, but this deck is the ball balls with artifacts. Artifacts are just the defensive cards. There's no need to start pushing... This isn't looking good for James right now. Yeah, it looks like Geo Brando has got an unlock. I don't know, what, what trap cards do James run? Like, it could even be a Malevolent face down, like, I thought he had Malevolent we set all that. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, yeah, there's no way it's in our sanctum. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> it actually just could be. You just be, be saving savage, it. Yeah, I mean, hey, I I would I wouldn't be uh, too surprised. It could I be torrential. It can be. I feel like it could be. Maybe call of the haunted. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's. Yeah, it could be torrential. It could also just be a uh, artifact monster. Uh, it could be I a wiretap. <laughs> Uh, how many beagle tags has? <laughs> no, uh, you would have wiretap the uh, breakthrough. Oh, how many beagle taxes? Oh, uh, yes, vanities. What? That he how many beagle taxes? James he run? played two. A played so far one. He's played one. Okay, yeah. so uh, I would know, like we would know that it's not a um, uh, sanctum because he would just would have popped that and then like summoned a. Uh, oh no, no, that has to be destroyed by your opponent's card effect. The other decks in the top four are Infernity, uh, these two decks, and, and Hat. hat. And Fedora, I tip my hat to you, milady. What was he looking for? Uh oh. I, I don't understand. How is he supposed to get rid of Andy's? He, he has something. Yeah. Okay. Maybe top conduction field. We would know that that says not sanctum. Um, like his, his, the empties. I mean, obviously we know that now. What like, do you mean? What if he top that conduction field? <laughs> I don't know. That would just be broken because he gets rid of the armor. He gets uh, rid of the emptiness. No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, huh? Lakeside lady can just pop. The Any armor. Side. If he runs a, th uh, I'm pretty sure he has to run a third. So the deck plays its own marksman. No, he only plays two lakeside ladies. Uh, well, that, I mean, yeah, yeah. He could have like molten conduction field, then just have like, un I think I, s I, I think I saw a monster in his hand, and it might have been like a cannon. But I don't know, man. Yeah, he has mol, uh, he has molten cannon in hand. So, this is actually really, really good for him. Like, extremely good. I really hope Oh, he that did. He did it. That's the one. He has a cannon in hand also, so he gets back the lakeside lady. Oh, no. Yeah. This match, this match is just so, it is now swung full he, swing. He can have, like, I think the only card he can have is, like, max C. In, in James' favor. Yeah, that, that is actually just the case. Yep. Special lake side lady. Yeah, he gets the late side. Does the he thing. run Star Eater? <laughs> Wait, can I see Giovanni's deck list? Yeah. I want to try to figure out the card in his hand. All right, so what is that? Black Rose? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And mm. he can pop the armor. Actually, <laughs> I guess I'd just kill the Excelli first. I mean, not that it matters. I think he has an armor in his graveyard anyway. But I guess I'd just kill the Excelli. 
Does he have an armor engraved? I think so. Remember the one he broke through skill earlier in the match? Yeah. Oh, uh, so so he's going to pop yeah. it anyway, I guess. Pop, I then guess attack, and do 24 damage. Yeah. I guess uh, James isn't even in that grave a position. I thought like, his was... His field could just, like, get broken, like, very easily oh, yeah. by, uh, like, well, arc. If he draws an like, accelerator, like, or like soul a soul charge, charge yeah. yeah, soul charge would definitely Plus, be. Plus, James already big, has one soul charge gone. The big comeback. But he still has rekindling. Yeah. I don't know we can bring back with rekindling since like it can't bring back cannon. <laughs> Alright, there are a lot of cards that could be in Giovanni's hand right now. Uh, he could have tin plate goldfish. He could have. Um, I actually thought he was. <laughs> what? Tin plate goldfish. He could have mind control. Because uh, mind control wouldn't uh, no have done anything. Uh, you think he left it in? It's or did he made it? Mind or control? No, I think he would have sided it in. Uh, Black Rose. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because... Uh, Side one? Uh, mind control. Because, mm. like, if he... The first thing is, if he you doesn't have any... Like, if his opponent doesn't it have any... It is Timblade Goldfish. <laughs> yep, uh, arc. See? Just... <laughs> Oh my lord. Uh, he could have just drew, uh, drawn that though. Wait, did he just special summon this from me? Yeah, yeah. What? Say something. What? Say what? I don't know. Uh, nobody you knows who Cory Rook is. No, I just froze up. I wanted to hug him, but he was so far. You're so far. <laughs> he could have jumped over the table. Alright, so he manages to literally just respond Soul to charge. the. Yes! Oh, oh my god. One time. Yeah. And you can hear him. You can hear the. You can hear everyone. You can hear. Hold on. M move the chat a little bit. Let me see how livid this guy is. He looks. So, oh Ooh, my God! James is just James smiling. Is basking. He's like, I wa He already won in his He's mind. Like, yep. Yeah. Ne needle ceiling could just been the card he drew, though. James says oh, final Oh, that would definitely be. Uh, it punishment. could be bottomless, also. Um. Uh, There's. I really hope he plays around needle ceiling here. Uh, uh, like he, he would stop here. He would have to stop here, but I don't think he's stopping. I think he's just going for it. Uh, yep. Okay, so this is not play around. All right, so needle ceiling kills him. How many? How many needle? He played around bombless a little bit. How many did he have sided? Because uh, he had one needle ceiling. One main side, and one, one side. Main, yeah. Okay, so he already activated oh, needle man. ceiling. What? That's five. Uh, yeah, it's five. Oh my. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Giovanni looks. What was he sending? Oh yeah, uh, so he makes a Lavalle chain. Wait, what is he gonna send though? A blaster. What is he gonna stack? Does he does he play blaster? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah yeah. So he it's definitely blaster. Blaster. That's so he my can favorite synchro, card. Spark and Pleiades. I know. So he can make Spark Dragon Pleiades. And he only has one uh, breakthrough skill. <laughs> yeah. Get get it. Get it. So we know his back row is not uh, needle ceiling. We know it's not bottomless. What if he's just. Holding the needle seal. I go in. <laughs> oh, he did it. That's my favorite card. Look at him. He's already grinning. Giovanni's like, where's my Yu-Gi-Oh memes now? <laughs> That's the guy from Yu-Gi-Oh memes? He's like one of them, apparently. I don't know. Not, it doesn't really matter. I mean, not to say that he didn't, you know, he's, he's done a great job this tournament, piloting Gear Gear this far. Yeah, you definitely special some plays at this point because it can at least get rid of Arc. But right. he's mainly a memer. But there's no there's no way it's Trenchel. Trenchel would have been played already. Uh, yeah. What could it be? It could be a wiretap. It could. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked. Like, we can just go through the cards what can be. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> it could just be a long list. Okay. It could be... Breakthrough skill, the second breakthrough skill. Oh, he, he just break, passed. I, I think he would have uh, Trap Tricks Nightmare, time. maybe? Yeah. Uh, James uh, no, just it passed. Can't, it can't be Trap Tricks Nightmare. It can't be Breakthrough because he would have he, he would have stopped him from Lava making chain? the Lava Watch. He might want to stop like Pleiades or something. Hang on. Hang Blast on. is going to put too much pressure on him. Okay, let, Two let Blaster me, attacks. Let me, let me rewind here. Why why didn't James I use the Pleiades? He only has one. Oh, plays to what? To bounce the arc because I think Giovanni has a Breakthrough. Trap Nightmare. Right, but he, he had a break. He kills Lava Chain, and he, like, if he doesn't kill Lava Chain, he can just stack, like, a cannon to the top. I mean, he can't, he can't. But if he, if he doesn't kill this, yeah. he can just, um, he can just sink her next turn. I mean, realistically, Giovanni's kind of in a really, really, he just, he's in a position where no matter which monster he kills, like, the Still blaster the recurring <laughs> is just going to end him. He's going to end him. <laughs> and we got the big TZ over here yeah, jumping he's, around. He's, he's already celebrating. Lava chain. Why are you so giddy? No cards. He's probably going to bounce the new back row. Oh, the hand. Oh, man. Bounce the new back row. Do you think he'll remember breakthrough skill? 
I mean, I would think so. He made it this far in. Okay. No, see, he, he has his hand on the graveyard. Wait, why, oh, do yeah. why do you want him to do so well? Yeah, you lost like, a bet. Looks like he remembered. No, yeah. but he already lost, so, like, might right. as well. So he killed the Lavalva chain. Would you still bounce the new backer at this point? No, because... What did tell me? I, I don't know. Because what, what if it is needle sealing? Like yeah, he just that's did draw what I'm thinking. Sealing. So maybe like I'd bounce the arc and what? summon the blaster and swing with a T. Yeah, no. Or maybe I'd summon the blaster, why you did that. make a Stardust Dragon or a Stardust Spark. Even if it's rounds. needle sealing, James Chow's still in a really good rounds. position because he has blaster. Oh, really? Uh, so he just decides oh, to attack. So Interesting. Like, when there was three rounds left. He has his own breakthrough skill. James. That's what he just yeah. drew it? Okay. No, uh, he, it's engraved because oh, he breaks right, the skill right, gear, right. the armor. The armor earlier in the yeah. game, right? So he can just break the, he can save the material, break James the skill. Is, James is playing very well right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once the soul charge happened. Oh, yeah. He's like, now's my chance. I got I to gotta take it. Like, there's, uh, he, he could have kept the prison in, so he's just not thinking about that. I, I would have to say it's either Trap Tricks, uh, Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare, or a Wiretap. His face down. Yeah, so he attacks. He. That's yeah. a very oh, good reason wait. not to bounce the honor arc. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's better. He's better than that. Uh, I think that it can't be a trap trick shuffle nightmare. I think sending blaster is too important that he would have just negated it. Yeah, but any five he could have made. Like, say. Any five he could have made would have just put him in a really bad position anyway. No, nah, I mean, he bounced the thing, which, like, Breakthrough is going to do the same thing next turn, so. You probably should have just bounced the new one. Now that they're in no, time, not I'm not really, I'm not really sure why he has. Say they're in time. Yeah, they're in time. I now. thought they have unlimited time. They, they have There's unlimited no time. time. Yeah, that was that, that was for the one k. Yeah, see, I just got here, so <laughs> obviously um, you're new here. Yeah, mentally <laughs> inept. Uh, I'm new to the top cut, as all of you know. It's true. Fiendish chain. Yeah. Would you just chain plays at this point? On what the fiendish bounce chain? the fiendish? Oh, I don't know. This is Lolly's nope. second event. Yeah, that's the one. I mean. This is, it's just, I just, I feel like he should have just summoned Blaster already. I might have chained Pleiades, bounced the other back row, then synchroed into Blaster, because you know the middle one's just dead. You mean synchroed into Stardust? Uh, yeah, Stardust. Special Blaster synchroed oh, into yeah. Stardust. And, and like spark, the arc is actually. gone, and, and James is just 100% aware that he only plays the 1 1 1. So, does, can we check if James plays, uh,. Uh, M7, which I highly doubt, but mm, I think he just plays Gaia. Giovanni. He just plays Gaia. Uh, I mean, he's actually actually really tight. So, like, yeah. if, if I had to go, yeah, it's just Gaia. Yeah, he might as well just chain the Pleiades then, and then bounce a back yep. row and then make a Gaia here. So he decides afterwards to, and then he gets torrential, and he obviously just should. Yeah, he got. Wait, what did he him. bounce? He bounced another back row. Uh, yeah, I, I the don't think middle he back summoned. row, the dead one. No, I think he should have. I think he should have. Uh, he should overlay before. for Gaia and then just attack. No, he attacked and then he should have bounced the newest Fiendish one. Uh, like Venus Chain, then use um, please right. bounce the newest one because the other one's dead. Then synchro and spark, and you're just. Well, I think I just think this all could have been avoided if he just done it a turn before. Yeah. I just I don't know because he had the he he definitely had the targets. He had a black rose and he had a a guy. So it looks like. You know what could still win James the game? What? A sanctum. <laughs> you know what could also win him the game. And or ignition. <laughs> or oh, that. okay. Ignition, just get rid of the bombless trap hole and just blaster and blaster beat down. Yeah. So he gets bottomless. So now the blaster is. Oh, and there it is. Yep. All right, so it looks like. Oh, look at this. Giovanni livid. Oh, man. man. So now he has, like, a dead back row we know of and a bombless trap hole. Good lord. What if his face down just is the ignition for the bombless and just special blaster? And, uh, that's it's not game though, is it? The what is he waiting for? Is he going to max? He doesn't have maxi because it's just back row in his hand. Yeah, I mean, wait. He doesn't have another breakthrough skill. I don't know. I just. I don't know why you told him wait. I was I was really excited, but I, after ah oh, man, just that soul charge. Yeah, I just. This game is. This game is just getting. It's not getting out of hand. Bad for Giovanni. It's getting very miserable for him. If if, if, you, if yeah. you understand what I mean, he just oh he has compulse. He's been fighting back so Wait, hard. Wait, his back row was compulse. Compulse and oh yeah, huh? Well, maybe you wanted him to play the torrential, so he gets the Malcat. He can't even compulse small talk now, because then Malcat just becomes live. Yeah. 
Wait, I'm, I'm very, I'm highly confused. I just, I don't know. I feel so bad. I actually just feel so bad for Giovanni. Was it Compulse? I could have sworn I saw Compulse. Yeah. I don't think he would have Compulse, though. You don't think he would have Compulse the Pleiades a few turns before? Instead oh, no, of just I, Venus chaining it? If you're talking about that. Wait, no. All the back row have been uh, gone since then, right? No. Oh, oh, he bounced one of them. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. This is... A, I, I very much enjoy this game. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's. I just, you just start feeling bad in the middle of it. You know what I mean? Like, look at this. Look what's happening. It's gonna get bombless, though. I mean, yeah, obviously, but like this, this forces it. So now yeah. he can summon the blaster next turn. Oh. Oh, oh he, has, he has pop. Uh, but it's mandatory. It's mandatory. Yeah, he has to pop his. Yeah, I, I don't think he should have done that. Like, yeah. it's mandatory. Oh yeah, no, that. Man, what is happening? What? Uh, uh, beagle talk. The beagle talk. The eagle attack is mandatory. No, yeah, it's up, up to, to two. Minimum of one. Yeah, minimum of one. But it so, is mandatory. Yeah, he has to. He has to activate it. I I think he just didn't want to draw it. Yeah, like, that was a huge thing. I get that, but he has a Malcat. Yeah, but if yeah. like he attacked, like somehow attacked, he could just like chain all yeah, of it. He he shouldn't have set the Malcat. Um. Now you can just attack with both, and I mean, make attack with both overlay for tears. And then get compulse. Uh, like I really don't think he has compulse, because he would have done it on the platies instead of just being put back a few turns. I want to draw. Uh, that's game. I don't think they calculated this one. See? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, he did, like... Oh, oh, he also just has Soul Charge in hand. Oh, my gosh. When you just tribute for... Be uh, oh. Yeah, when you just tribute for Molotov, I mean, yeah. then uh, if he bombless it, you just Special Blaster for defense. Because, oh, like, Arsenal can just get over this. I would just I would just want to bait out the bottomless somehow. It's obvious that Gio's trying to hold it, you Is know, it so he 18? can use on the Blaster, but... You know. Uh, Trevor, I think he's a 17. No, wait, what? Uh, uh he didn't take damage from Molotov. <laughs> yeah, he, he wait, uh, game, uh, like, the last turn, yeah, he took a Molotov attack and the Beagle attack, which was 35, and he was at 52 at 17. Wait, but didn't he just uh, compulse he the Molotov? Uh, That's what I'm saying. Last turn, he took he, 21 he was and then 14. Giovanni was at 32? It's just 100 off. I think uh, is he, why is he banging out now? Oh, he has Soul okay, Charge. That's so, why he's banging out now. Yeah, so I guess he's just banging out the bottomless. There it is. Okay, and then he just eagle. Oh, this cool. might actually just be game. Yeah. I definitely would. I, I thought done. he didn't take Moltok there. Definitely oh, would have done no, that the other way around, team. but I mean, I guess like. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, he took Moltok last turn. That's why. Yeah, he was I would have done it the other way around because Blaster. He took what? He, he took Moltok the turn before. He just attacked with Beagle Tag. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. Let's try to pay attention. So see, that's <laughs> right. He's just trying to draw his way out of it, and here's another Mermillo. It doesn't, but that doesn't. He already, the bottomless is already used. I yeah. Soul charge is gonna get there. I'm yeah. He just, I don't know what this back row is though. He just soul charge. He I see I see in his hand a double cyclone. So he just is it a double charges, cyclone? Yeah, he just soul charges, change double cyclone, target the soul charge, and target the other, other back one, row. Yeah. And then he just plays around nightmare, and then that's it. Like there's not much else he can do. But that's this is a hundred percent why I just would have, I would have summoned the moral talk. And yeah, you would have blaster. Force him, yeah, force him to bottomless, and then summon the yeah. blaster. And even if he books and moons it, he can't kill it with the mermillo. Yeah, so can. I can just flip it. Oh, uh, can't I can, kill what blaster? Yeah, is because blaster is eighteen hundred. Is one one in uh, Giovanni's grave? Yes. Yeah. It is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, you're right. He break through it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. What I was thinking was like if if he draws a rank uh, a level four, he could make a one oh one. So he'd have to put all of his monsters in defense position. So. But not. Uh, he hit warning so, like at the beginning of the game, right? Yeah. So warning, bottomless, and torrential are all gone, and compulse. So the big four. It's just neil ceiling. So if he just gone. plays around neil ceiling. Yeah. I mean, no, that, that doesn't even matter. Oh yeah, because you just chain yeah, double cyclone. Yeah, it yep. doesn't even matter. It's what did he draw? Game. He drew another soul charge. So now he has double soul charge and. Uh, double soul charge can't help. Though. I mean, realistically. What, what could be a card like he? I don't even know. Realistically, he could just make another Pleiades here. You can? Yeah. 
Or not. Or not. <laughs> I mean, could it... I was a little saying. Yeah, it prevents the, it prevents the uh, rank four drop. Yeah, we asked the same thing. Uh, um. Oh, he did not use the double. He opted not to use it. Uh, why didn't he do that? What? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, I, I see I why. Wait, you see why what? Uh, has not has uh, Giovanni used torrential? Yes. Yeah. yeah. He has used torrential? Okay, he's he's used all of the four. Uh, then there's nothing that can stop it. Uh, warning needle ceiling. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, no, he hit warning no, earlier. No, needle ceiling has to oh, hit what is, yeah, there, I don't oh, think there is a card this? that yeah, can no. stop it. There's nothing it. that can stop it. All right, yeah. And is that, can we check? I really don't think there's any card that Man, can just I, stop I a play these at this point. I mean, I, I would have looked just great. Book of Moon's gone. Dark Hole's gone. Uh, Fiendish Chain. Fiendish Chain could be there, but he has Yeah, but you have to force them to play the play these first, then Fiendish Chain. D Prison, he probably side them out. Black Horn of Heaven. Oh, that could that could be an out. He okay. he hasn't over. Uh, wait, he did overlay. Oh man! Imagine if he gets black horns here. Like I uh, I wouldn't side that card out. He yeah, I wouldn't deck. either. That would seal. That would literally seal this match. Yeah, I think he definitely should have. Uh, oh my god, no! Double cyclone. Oh yeah, he lets it go. Oh, I, I, oh, think I don't think it's a double cyclone. I think it's a molten conduction field. Ah, I probably looked at it wrong then. Yeah, because. That would explain Wait, that. so uh, do all the things that like pop back row, are they all th gone? Uh, like ignition and stuff? No. Well, the, like uh, the lakeside the monsters, ladies? Yeah. Uh, lakeside ladies, yeah, yeah they're banished. I think there's one cannon left. But he can, yeah, he can recycle them with, with cannon. Is cannon, what, is cannon a warrior? Um, mm, I'm not say, answering because I don't know. Yeah, because if it is, <laughs> wow. You know, no, I, I don't think it's a pyro. I, I think there are two that are pyro. Uh, cannon? And, like, he's not. Aren't you up on him right now? Isn't aren't you up on him right mm -hmm. now? What was it? No. It's a warrior. Uh, aside from the fact that it has 900 defense. Will you just draw a soul charge? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Um. <laughs> he's like, it's about time is what he says. It's about time. Yeah, I, I think he's over 17. He's less than 20. No, he's not. Is he? Yeah, because he compulsive moral tech for no reason. Oh, I thought, I, I don't know, I'm just. Well, now, now this has become a very, and actually, it, it's actually just become a very good game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Like, both sides have been fighting each other. Now, finally, Giovanni's like, think, all right, it's I don't think Giovanni time. can make anything. I mean, yeah, four. but. Yeah. Yeah. Then soul charge for two, that's the only damage he's taken. <laughs> uh, he can't you do make. Man. He can make Digusto Emerald. Diamond Dire Wolf pop it. Like, it wouldn't do anything. Oh, yeah, Pleiades. Yeah, he literally Utopia can't. wouldn't do anything. Make sure it wouldn't do anything unless um, he has Fiendish Chain face down. He could make. If he has Fiendish Chain face down, he can make Carnagorgon. Uh, he has Gorgon? Run it. He does not. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, one. he does run it. He does yeah, run it. Yeah, see, there you go. So he could. <laughs> he can make Carnagorgon and make Karn -Gorgon. it. Carnagorgon. So okay, all right, man. Just whatever it's called. Anti luminescent light. Yeah, that that one. So he goes to pop the back row. Oh man. Summon the mortal. I don't like the looks of this game. Oh man, wait, do those two stack? Oh yes, skip his spell phase. Yeah, they no. do stack. Yeah. Because so you have to physically like, and you have like tell your opponent you're entering battle phase and it just skips it. Because mm -hmm. if you don't tell your opponent, it just skips the next one. Right. Did he not have any artifacts left? He also, uh, it's also um, worthy to note that he can't conduct his battle phase this turn, so he has to skip his next turn battle phase as well. Essentially, yeah. he just can't attack for a, Two turns. a good while. This gives this gives Giovanni just a lot of time. Uh, no, not with Soul Charge. With Soul Charge, you can't conduct your battle phase. You can't even go mm -hmm. in your battle phase. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Then, break through, uh, then... Ignition says skip uh, your next battle phase. So if you can't go battle phase, you just have to skip it. Yeah. Oh man, I, I I just this is a crazy game. Yeah, no, this is this this went from really really sad to just really really good. You know, finally the pushback. I think what uh, made this game last so long was like a few misplays on each part that were very minor, but ended up costing them. Do you think he kept? Well, so then that means that they were, they weren't minor after all, huh? Do you I mean, sure, but <laughs> there's little things. Guy charged for game. It's game. 
Oh, there it is. I have to applaud for that one. That was that was good. That was, was, I was going to ask you, like, it could, like, with a back row just be soul drain or, like, macro that he just doesn't want to flip because there's no point? Man, look at the expression on Giovanni's face. I mean, yeah. He's just... James Chow going to the finals. I, I, my expression would probably be similar. I yeah. I mean, you know, just to right. fight so hard and, and there's to mid, as you guys can see, the big TZ. Uh, we'll be back with you guys. Um, for the other top four match, uh, we're going to play some ads now.